what exactly are we doing to increase depth in people? People have a dream to serve. People have a dream to edify. Are you getting it? We never had all these things. But we still, we did all these things. You know why? Because it was required to do that, right? We understood the essence of that. Why is it required to be in service? What is in service means? And what is edification means? And it was not, it was not like a dream, like, okay, now I'm arrived. I served and I edified or I went on a stage and shared, so finish. Life is over, right? Because these are the things which helps you to reach to a team if you understand the essence of all these things, right? So we started discussing. And I, when I started looking my journey back, and then I realized a few things which I want to share. <laughs> you know? That was basically, when I looked back in 2008-9, when we all started, you know, we all were around 30 years of age, between 28 and 32, okay? And we all worked for about 8 to 10 years in corporate. Mostly we were from outside Bombay, but we were living in Bombay because of the work, okay? And we were decently placed in a job, actually. Decently placed. So 8 to 10 years of work experience, we were decently placed, right? Middle level management and above, actually, right? Okay, senior managers, managers, and, and the AVPs kind of people, actually, right? So we were decently placed, but still, you know, whether you are AVP or senior manager, you're still broke, right? In a job. So those, we were, we were at that level, and all of us were same. All my people who started in the beginning, because obviously you, you first cover your backyard, right? Your closest people, right? Okay? And then... When we started, we had a very clear-cut objective that we don't want to work forever. Very clear-cut objective. Why we started was because we were looking out for something which can give us an opportunity to build a system which eventually can work with or without us as well, right? Correct? So we were not just working for money. Of course, money is a tangible thing. But we wanted to earn a money in such a way that this money should never come down. With or our without effort after some time. And we were ready to work hard for a few years and build something so strong that it will work on its own eventually. That was our objective, right? Okay? Because we were tired of going to work, come back home, going to work, come back home, right? You know? Your objective, do you... Do you agree to me that your objective defines your action actually? Correct? Whatever is your objective, that defines your action. That defines your behavior actually, right? True? So for example, if you want to go from, from here to, to airport, okay? So you will take a cab to, going towards airport. You will not take which, a cab which will go towards Pattaya actually, right? Because your objective is to reach airport, so you will go in that direction, right? Correct. So objective was very clear. So every action which we used to take was defined or derived from that objective actually. Okay? An objective was to build a system, sustainable system, once in lifetime, forever. We never wanted to work again and again and again actually, right? Okay? So it was very clear in a subconscious mind. There were many things which used to happen and it was very easy. No counseling required that time because, oh, if I do this, is it going to translate into my objective? No, then I should not do this. Simple. For example, if, if, a, if, a, if a prospect is coming to me and you are my downline, getting a prospect to me. Correct? And he says, I like the business, I don't have money. Within one week, I'll have arrange Correct? And you are his friend. You coming to me and asking me, uh, one week he will arrange, today is Friday, or today is a bonanza getting over. I'll use my card and he will give me one week, and I'll pay back my card bill. Straight away without asking anybody, I used to say, no. No. You know why? Simple reason is, because what if, 
that guy goes out and within one week he meet five rai bahadur you know and he will get vanished happens or not how many people have gone through this correct so i know what is possible so i'll say tell him you done the transaction but don't do it maybe just for him to oblige tell him okay 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 maine kar diya but don't do it why because simple because if he if you pay for him and he is a reliable guy but rai bahadur can if can bite anybody right true and if he's not going to come back you will lose money and you will be in tension always and in tension of money you cannot work with a focus actually right correct or not huh so what exactly i used to say no i said no way you're not going to do this you know why why this was not a conflict at all the reason is very simple what is my objective my objective is not to get one sign up my objective is to have this person with me for 10 to 20 years and eventually become a pillar of the organization becoming platinum diamond blue diamond one day and become an integral part of this family actually right so people started coming in with the with a objective to make money only to make money only now the objective change right so if one guy came with an objective to make money and he made money so he will get his colleague his friend of the same age everything right and then he will show money 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 correct and that guy will also say, i also want money then money 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 then that guy also want money then money 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 that guy also money people forget to talk about a vision because they have no vision they had only objective as money actually to earn correct and then what happened and then what happened when you have i i i told you your objective defines your action right if your objective is only money and if my objective also would have been money only right now one downline is telling me my friend they want to sign up he will give me money after one week what should i do if my objective is only money i'll say bhaiya tera dost hai dekh le tu correct i will not stop him because if he sign up i'll get money na beyond that i will not see what will happen to that guy if money don't come correct tu dekh le bhai are you getting it but i see from last few years people coming and telling me please save me i said what happened my own hot zone is complaining against me he went to the cops he is coming to with the goons at my house your own hot zone are you getting it you know why because somewhere you got them as a hot zone with a dollar sign in your eyes you know and with your benefit you tried making them work and you didn't do everything which was required to be worked with them i'm not talking about success you cannot make anybody successful everyone is responsible for their own success right but were you there doing 100% as sharfun said right with that person with for that person's benefit not for your own benefit right if that would have been done nobody leave hot zone coldest zone ever will also not complain against you actually right you know so that was the culture you know so i am not telling again please don't take me wrong i am not telling you that oh money should not be the objective right okay i am not telling that money should not be the objective but ultimately it is not money money is a milestone for example if i am starting from here and if i have to reach till there that is my end objective money comes somewhere in between but if i ha i have a problem but if you see only money and nothing beyond that actually right for almost a year plus i struggle to make money actually right okay again cash out not working 
it was very easy on my credit i am only signing up people it was very easy to sign up one person this side but i didn't do a single wrong sign up because all of them were in the same organization all of them were knowing each other and i was dr for all of them i could have placed one person here also right for a short term money but i was knowing that this will kill the organization in a long run do you think it is easy to build a strong foundation there are many people who earns more money than us in first year but still didn't survived why because you know what there are many people there are many people maybe among you must have earned more money in first year but then then struggling to come up again right true but we struggled in first year first one and a half year all of us actually right but once it started going up no matter any tsunami also happened it never came down actually right no matter what challenge came up but it never came down right so how do you want to build do you want to build it to last or you want to make some money only initially right and the point is that you know you can you know even you build to last you make a lot of money right but the point is you need to have a eye on that build to last position actually the problem is people fail to see beyond some some point they fail to see beyond right so for example if i'm here this is money many people don't see beyond this but we were seeing this is money that is a system so we have to cross this and reach there correct so i cannot cross like this otherwise i'll never reach there i will get money but i'll go off track do you have your objective very very clearly defined and you're keeping that objective in mind while taking every action or you have only a short term money as a target right don't tell me ask yourself and even and even if the objective is not that long term or you were not very clear about that right today is the time make that objective very very clear believe me because if you want to just make some money this business is very difficult because you will make some money you will fall you will make some money you will fall but if you want to build it strong and build an income which can go on as a legacy to your next generation then this is the easiest business actually right this is the only business where it is possible so check is your objective very very clear is it clear are you sure i doubt and do you know that the the problem or challenge which happens today you know if somebody did this much of wrong it is coming back with 10 times problem right so who will stop this who will stop this every individual if become conscious enough that no matter who does it but it will come back to me only right are you getting it you see everything will change in few years in less than one year actually right do you know something called auto correction you correct things from your side universe will automatically correct other things which are not there in your control actually right but the point is that are you ready to start correcting do you know the replication of that right first of all if you are there in this business there is a plan by god for you but the point is that are you ready to take all your responsibility and control all those things which are there in your control correct are we really doing that 100% so the first thing is ask yourself why we are not doing that because suddenly you cannot say i will do this from tomorrow onwards right first you need to find out why you are not doing that probably that objective is not very clear probably this is like a ganga beh rahi hai hum bhi isme haath dho lete hain right correct do you know that i'm talking to you correct all the people 12000 people sitting here right 11999 tomorrow quit but one of you if decide today 
this is my business i will freaking do it in a correct way and take it strong you will have four times bigger than this in next four years actually right so the point is are you very very clear about your objective are you very clear about your objective so define your objective very clearly and every action behind every action check is it going to fulfill my objective or it is going to take me away from that right correct somebody said even yuvraj also said right never quit you this is a fight you are doing for your passion for your long term mission and objective right correct and you will find the purpose to live we and you fulfill this objective because after that only you will have time to think about why you are here actually right correct so be clear be passionate about that talk about that objective talk about that long term vision which people have stop talking about actually right okay money is the smallest thing when you have a vision actually right right now everyone is like yes but the biggest battle you fight with yourself correct but when your objective is very very clear that fight also easy to win okay so keep fighting keep fighting keep fighting you know as when i go back you will see the lyrics of the song right and every time when you feel like giving up remember that objective and remember this song lyric right and you will see that energy coming back but keep fighting never give up because it is your right to have an objective and vision and achieve that and nobody can stop you from that right thank you very much and i love you